how the fuck is he that good? What the fuck? This dude, did you knock it off the game? Oh yeah. The uh hot. -huh. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Ha. Oh. Hey guys, Mint Batty here. I'm here to go over my sniping settings, class setups, and a couple tips and tricks to help you guys improve your sniping on Cold War. Alright, so to begin, we're going to start by going through each gun, what I use for the classes, and then we'll go to my settings, and then we will start with tips and tricks, giving examples here and there as well. So to begin, we have the Pellington, as you can see here. Uh, lovely, lovely. Now, in my Pellington class setup, we have the Pellington, 703. I, the secondary can depend on you. I just put on knife because that's what I usually run. I'm not really picky. And then for my tactical, I run stim shot, lethal, anything. Uh, field upgrade, Sam turret. This is really important for taking on those score streaks because in this game, score streaks are uh, like really easy to earn. So this is kind of pivotal. Um, and then with my perks, uh, I run the wild card perk greed. So that way I have six perks. And for my perks, I run a flak jacket, tack mask, assassin, quartermaster, ninja, and ghost. And the flak jacket and tactical mask are just to help me get through all the sh like crap that gets thrown at me. Um, ninja, so I can sneak up on opponents and hit clips without anyone knowing I'm really there until it's too late. Ghost, same thing, avoiding being detected. That's kind of the whole mantra here. And then assassin helps with the mini map. Uh, and it helps with the directional arrows on the enemy, so you can tell which way is the best way to sneak up on your enemies. And then Quartermaster, because I like my tactical uh, and my lethal to recharge faster. That way I can be more versatile when I use them. Now let's get into the rifle. The Pellington. For barrel, you're going to want to run the Tiger Team. Uh, for the body, you're going to want to run the Tiger Team Spotlight. Now the reason for this is... When you're looking for people and you're in the the adrenaline's pumping, you're going through things, you tend to miss people. I do it all the time. This allows you to put a little red dot above a person that's in your close vicinity, so it makes them much easier to find and a lot easier to keep the feed going. Then we want to skip down to magazine. I run the seven round. This is the best magazine in my opinion because it doesn't have the worst cons. It has a couple extra bullets, and the cons are not bad. All it does, a negative, is reload quickness in comparison to the 9 round, which slows down your ADS, which we do not want in this game. We go to handle. You're going to want to unlock the airborne elastic wrap. Now, this is important for a couple reasons. Most people are going to be like, well, obviously, it's for your ADS speed. Yes, you also flinch less, and you can aim laying down, which is super important when you're transitioning if you're trying to pop shot. And then for your stock, you want to run the Raider pad for the sprint to fire time, which is super pitiful in this case as well. Now, we're going to move to the Tundra. All right, now we're here with the Tundra. Now, this Tundra has a little bit more damage than the Pellington, a little bit of a slower ADS speed, but still an amazing sniper nonetheless. So we're going to keep tactical, lethal, field upgrade, all the perks and essentials like that the same. But attachments are going to be a little bit different for this rifle. Mostly the barrel. Now, using the Tundra, you'll notice you get a lot less hit markers than the Pellington. So adding this extra damage isn't really necessary. I mean, the fire rate, sure, and the bolt velocity is helpful. But I prefer to run the hammer forged when I'm going for clips because the fire rate is as fast as it can possibly be and uh, it has less and has a little bit of an aisle sway, but all the other attachments you put on counteract that effect, so it's normally fine. Uh, we're gonna run want to run the Tiger Team Spotlight again. Magazine, seven round mag, handle, airborne, stock, raider pad. The only thing that changes is the barrel. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. At the time of this recording, this is the early stages of Cold War, so this gun has not been patched yet. It says in the step bars that this is the highest damage rifle in the game of sniper rifles in Cold War. It's not true. This thing gets more hit markers than the Pellington does. This is basically the Dragunov, if the Dragunov was weak. This thing gets tons of hit markers, is what I'm saying.
So, if you want to be able to get this thing fully maxed out, or if you're trying to get cams or anything like that, sad to say, Hardcore is your best friend in this case. But, once you do get it leveled up, it actually is a decent rifle, and it can hit some pretty nice clips. So, we're just going to hop into the attachments right away. Barrel, Tiger Team, is a necessity. If you do not have the Tiger Team, you're going to get more hit markers than you could ever imagine. Body, you're going to either want to run the Tiger Team Spotlight or the Steady Aim Laser. Depends on what you're doing. If you're trying to quickscope, Tiger Team. If you're trying to, like, have the ability to hip fire a little bit better, hit the Steady Aim Laser is your friend. 7 round mag, airborne elastic wrap, and the Raider pad. That basically breaks it down for all the snipers. And now we're going to move to settings and what settings I use. Alright, now that we're in my settings, obviously my input device is a controller. I play on controller. For anyone that's curious if I use a scuff or anything like that, no, I use a playing controller. I play claw. So, moving right into the settings, my horizontal stick sensitivity is 12.5. My vertical is 10, my ADS stick sensitivity low zoom is 1, my high zoom is 1.2. Now the reason why mine is 1.2 is because I like my scope when I'm zoomed in to be able to move fast so I can pull off whip shots and drag scope shit like that. Uh, however, this isn't for everybody. The, the speed of your sensitivity is completely based on you. Uh, don't think that you need to use my settings or someone else needs to use your settings. This is just an example. A good way to find your sensitivity. Come to a wall, pick a point. For example, let's pick between like this brick right here. If you can 360 and stop on that wall or near that wall every time, you know you're in a good spot. This is how you get your sensitivity dialed in. I'm not doing a great job right now. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Now, button layout, mine is default, I don't run anything, same with flip, nothing inverted. Now, we're going to move to something that I believe needs to be said. Aim down sight, aim assist. You're going to want to turn this off. For snipers, it does only one thing. Mess up your shot. If you turn it on, it is going to ruin your shot. It's going to... Everyone is too fast that it throws aim assist off and it just doesn't work. You're going to want to disable this. And now, for a lot of people who you've used aim assist on snipers in the past, this is going to be a wake-up call to you. This is going to require a lot of practice to get your shot on point. But when you do, it's ultimately better. Uh, everything else will stay the same. Aim down sight, whatever. Running. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to go to graphics. I play on 120 field of view. Don't think you have to. I just like the ability to see what's going on around me. Otherwise, I, I, I feel like exposed. I feel naked. You want your field of view, your ADS field of view to be affected. If you do independent, it's going to look weird. Yes, I just leave it exactly where it is. Motion blur, you're going to want to disable. Just like Modern Warfare, if you have motion blur on, it's going to cause you a lot of problems and make it harder for you to see people. Audio, all that isn't it's super important. And that, that basically rounds it all out of what you actually need to run for your sensitivities. I admit, fam, that is going to do it for my Call of Duty Cold War class setups and my settings. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Can't wait to see you guys hit some bangers. Peace out.